Set flaps 15 and check the ice protection. Once we get to flaps 15, we'll um, do the pusher baker test. Okay, it checks good. Altitude minus 700. Goshen Municipal Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1347 Zulu. Wind 270 at 18. Peak gusts 28. Visibility 4. Haze. Sky condition overcast 1200. Temperature minus 02 Celsius. Dew point minus 04 Celsius. Altimeter 2976. Remarks. Density altitude minus 700. Morning, South Bend Clarence. Plotus Niner 2 on November Golf on the ground at Goshen. Request IFR to Bravo Juliet. Juliet. November Niner 2 on November Golf, South Bend Clarence. Very good morning. Hold release at the Goshen Airport. You're cleared to the Bravo Juliet Julie Airport as filed. Maintain 3000. Expect to fly level 190, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 132.05, spot 3137. Grab my holding for release and pay your departure runway. 921 November Golf, I am holding for release. We'll be using runway 27. We're cleared to Worcester as filed. I maintain 3000. Expect flight level 190 in 10 minutes. Departure 3205, squawk 3137. November 1, uh, November Golf, readback is correct. And uh, verify when you are number 1 and holding for uh, number 1 and ready. I'll let you know we're number 1 and ready. It'll probably be about a minute or two on November Golf. Sounds good. Okay, we're cleared as filed, which was Goshen to Mansfield VOR and then to Wayne County Airport. Put 3,000 feet in the altitude pre-selector. For our initial altitude, our final altitude will be 19,000, or flight level 190. Departure frequency will be south bend on uh, 132.05. We'll squawk 3137. Okay, we're ready to taxi. Have to be kind of careful, it's pretty icy on the ramp this morning. All right, beta works, brakes work. We're gonna make a left-hand turn here. <laughs> Put her in but, reverse. Yeah, we're gonna make a, it, the, I, the ramp is really slippery. Um, word around the airport here is that the, uh, the runway is much better than the ramp and taxiways, so that's uh, too sharp of a corner for this slick. So we'll go make a wide corner over here. Okay, this is better. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this PC-12 flight. Today we've got a nice winter flight from northern Indiana over to Wayne County, Ohio, kind of Cleveland area. Pretty windy today, but it's right down the runway. Um, temperatures have been below freezing for, I don't know, the past month or so here. And finally got above freezing last night, so everything's kind of melted off. And the ramp and taxiway areas are pretty icy this morning. But the runway is clear, so we should be good there. The, and the wind is right down the runway. Got um, 18 knots gusting to 28 knots, so a little bit gusty, but um, since it's right down the runway, it won't be a problem. With the temperature right around freezing, that uh, makes it prime conditions for ice in the air. So we'll have to be careful of that. Ceilings here are 1,200 feet, so it's not super low. And uh, ceilings over in Wayne County are currently around 1,500, and that's where they're supposed to be for the rest of the day. <clears throat> not supposed to be any precipitation while we're on the ground out there. It's supposed to be above freezing over there, so if we do pick up anything on approach, then uh, we should be able to melt it off while, while we wait. South Bend, Pilatus, 9 or 2 on November Golf for number one and ready, runway 27 at Goshen. Pilatus, 1 November Golf, roger, stand by. Pilatus, 1 November Golf, upon entering control airspace, fly heading 270, we're released to Goshen Airport. Heading 270, release for departure off Goshen, 9 to 1 November Golf. All right, final cockpit check before we uh, take the runway here. Um, Fat I fly, a little bit slippery. Fat I fly, so we'll put it in uh, the flight director and go around and heading modes. 
Flap set heading to 270. And we got flap set 15. Crims are all in the greens. Ice protection will come on. Probes, windshields on light. Inertial separator open. And I'll go ahead and turn the uh, prop ice on since we'll be getting in the uh, clouds pretty quick here. And uh, flight idle to go. Lights and yaw damp is verified off. Finals clear. Goshen traffic, plot a center to November Golf, departing runway 27, Goshen. So we should rotate in about 1,200 feet today. Get pretty good performance. Okay, the runway looks pretty dry. It's grooved, so that helps a lot. All right, condition levers at flight idle. There we go. Pass is clear. Power set. Airspeed's coming alive, holding center line. 80 knots, rotate. That was a little under a thousand. I guess uh, with that headwind makes a big difference. All right, tap on the brakes. I want to make sure no slush gets flung up in the landing gear well. And gear can come up. We got a positive rate. And we're above 100 knots, so flaps can come up. And we'll turn the odd amp on, and taxi and landing lights come off. Goshen traffic, plot us pattern to on November Golf, departing a pattern to the west, Goshen. Morning South Bend, plot us pattern to on November Golf, 2000, climbing 3000, heading 270. Turn 9 to 1 November Golf, South Bend departure, I dent, climb 18, 5000, and turn left direct Mansfield. I dent, climb 18, 5000, left direct Mansfield, 9 to 1 November Golf. Center 1 Air Golf Radar Contact, 2 miles uh, west, Goshen Airport, South and Altoona, 2977. 2977, Altoona Checks, 1 November Golf. Okay, so we're turning left, so direct to Mansfield. Maintain one zero thousand. Set nav in the flight director. And set it on speed mode. Climb at 150 knots. Turn 9 to 1 Golf, climb maintain 1 0 thousand, 10 thousand. Climb maintain 1 0 10 thousand, 9 to 1 November Golf. There we are on top. Turn 3 Alpha Echo, descend to maintain 3000. Doesn't look like we got too much ice. Blow, it, blow the boots once or twice anyway here. Plus 1 November Golf, contact Chicago Center 119 point eight five. All right, we're climbing to, through 10,000 feet. We're not in icing, so we can turn the inertial separator off and we'll turn the pulse lights off and the seatbelt sign off. Okay, we're passing through 18,000 feet, so we'll set the altimeter to the standard setting of 29.92. We're in cruise here at 190. And the uh, gotta adjust the power setting here. We got 36.6 for torque setting at this altitude and temperature. And we got a pretty good tailwind. Uh, we're showing 51 knots. That's actually a little bit higher than forecast. Uh, forecast was about 45 knots of tailwind. So we're making really good time today. For 21 November Golf, descent pause discretion to maintain 1 1000. My discretion to 1 1 11,000, then to 1 November Golf. 1 November Golf, uh, Finley altimeter is uh, 2974. 2974, 1 November Golf. Okay, we got my discretion to 11,000. We'll turn VNAV mode on on the autopilot. And then when we get near to our top of descent, it'll follow that line down and stop at the altitude that we've selected in the pre selector.
And we're in cruise here, and so one of the things we do with a turbine airplane is write down cruise trends. So we'll put um, the date, day is the 22nd, and our route. I do one per trip. We'll just put the whole leg in here. And this is the same trip we made last time. Hobbs out. Hobbs in when we land. And uh, we'll fill this part out. Our current indicated airspeed is 209 knots. Our altitude is 19,000 feet. Outside air temperature is negative 26. Torque setting is 36.6. ITT is 760. NG is 98.7%. NP is 1693 RPM. And our fuel flow today is 515 pounds per hour. Oil temp is 54 degrees Celsius and pressure is 120 PSI. So the reason we do that is to kind of monitor the engine performance. And uh, if we start seeing um, certain trends, that's why they call it trend monitoring. Um, we can know if we have an issue with the engine so that we uh, need to get checked out. Climb 18, follow 320. I'm just about to pick up the weather, uh, but the, uh, the hourly that I looked at looks like we'll be on to getting in on the visual. One November Golf. So one November Golf, Roger, set to maintain 5,000, expect visual, Wayne County. Down to 5,000, now expect the visual, I'll let you know if I want something else. One November Golf. Okay, 18 of 7. Oops. Two, niner, seven three. One. For marks, density altitude 200. One. Wayne County Airport, Wooster, Ohio. Automated weather observation 1428 Zulu. Wind 240 at 14. Beat gusts 21. Visibility 10. Sky condition overcast 1,300. Temperature 03 Celsius. 2.01 Celsius. Altimeter 2973. Remarks. Density altitude. Okay, 240 at 14 gusts 21. The runway there at Wayne County is 28, so we'll have a little bit of less crosswind, but uh, primarily a headwind. Good visibility, but the ceiling is 1300, so we'll probably go ahead and shoot the approach. Uh, temperature is 3, dew point is 1, and altimeter is 2973. At 9 November Golf, looks like the weather's come down since the last hourly that I looked at, so we'd like to go ahead and shoot the RNAV to 28. Glad to have your request. Here one November Golf, and uh, did you want to go to D High and proceed your turn there, or uh, like the north or south, see if uh, you know what, whatever works better for you, um, it doesn't really matter to me. One November Golf. Here, one November Golf. Uh, proceed direct to Becky for the RNF 2A and Wayne County. Okay, direct to Becky, 921 November Golf. Alright, so we're cleared direct to Becky and we need to set up the approach here so we can do that. We'll go ahead and do this here. RNAV 28. And we'll go from Becky. Insert that, and we'll make sure everything matches Becky at or above uh, 3,000, then D high at or above 3,000, Conway at or above 2,800, Enco at or above 1,800, and then uh, the missed approach point, the runway, and then the uh, missed approach procedure will be um, a straight climb to 3,000. 
correct to Javni and hold. So I'll activate, actually we'll go uh, delete that discontinuity, activate that there. And now we are uh, flying direct to Abeki. And we're getting the clouds here a little bit, so we'll turn the uh, inertial separator and prop ice on. Fifteen psi works as a really good torque setting for uh, the terminal environment, like when you're setting up for an approach. We'll set that here. We'll let us slow down. We'll be below gear speed and uh, should be below flap speed also. Temperature here is negative eight, and it looks like we're getting just kind of really light ice out there. Um, nothing too much. We'll kind of monitor it, drop the descent, and see what it does. Starts picking up a little more. We'll turn the boots on. And actually, as I say that, it's starting to pick up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and turn the boots on. Help to keep that off the wings. Flatus 1, November Golf, Sun 18, 3000, and change my frequency, 125.5. So, uh, we are on 25.5 and down to 3000, 9 November Golf. All right, thank you. And uh, after Canton, I'll send 29 or 72. 2972, 1 November Golf, and we do have the local weather. Okay, vertical speed, we'll go down to 3000. So we probably won't have all of that ice off the wings um, when we land. And uh, according to the POH, need to have the boots on until basically all the ice is off the wing. So we'll plan on landing with the boots on. And looks like we don't have prop ice. We'll consult the uh, quick reference handbook here, the QRH. And the cast is uh, amber, it says propeller de-ice. And so we'll look for that one here. And it says, step one, set to off and wait for 10 seconds. So we'll turn the prop dice off. Wait for at least 10 seconds. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead and check, make sure the circuit breaker didn't pop. And it does not look like it popped. <clears throat> and we'll reset it. Cast message did clear. And... It's off. It says if the caption go off after five seconds, continue flight and monitor the system. So that's what we'll do. back on. Departure <clears throat> 98 Sierra, 1,800 for 3,000. Alpha again. November 9 or 88 8, Sierra, clean departure radar, contact, climb 18, 8,000, turn left direct Bel Air. 8,000 left Bel Air, uh, 98 Sierra. One November golf, uh, one two miles from Becky, cross Becky. Outer above 3000, cleared RNAV 28, approach Wayne County. Becky, outer above 3000, cleared RNAV 28 into Wayne County, 9 to 1 November golf. Okay, we reset the prop ice twice, it's not coming back on. We will just keep an eye on it. Gotta be careful uh, we don't get vibration in the prop. Confirm stay at 3000 for 9 8 here. That would indicate that we've got eight, icing, eight, Sierra, climb, eight, but eight, uneven eight, on eight, uh, the different eight, blades. Eight, if that happens, the, our, really, our only option is to uh, adjust power to try to make the vibration as minimal as possible, and then obviously land as quickly as possible, which we are in the process of doing now. All right, current SIT is uh, negative one. Looks like uh, we're not picking up any ice anymore. Wings are uh, pretty clear, actually. We are cleared for the approach, 
and we are six miles from Rebecca. They probably set minimums in here for our reminder. Minimums on this approach for LPV, which we have LPV minimums, are 1398, so we'll set 1400. That is 264 feet above the ground here at uh, Wayne County. With the propeller ice, I have heard that um, the flexing on these composite blades can uh, cause uh, issues with the prop ice. It can cause the, the wires to break or something like that. Um, so we'll have to see, once we get on the ground, what we need to do. Can't be flying around in northern Indiana without working propeller ice. That's what November we're going to pick up any ice get three. We're not getting any icing now. Um, temperature is negative one. Uh, we had, uh, we call it light icing through the descent, and it probably stopped around uh, four and a half or five. What November we going to All right, we're in the turn from a Becky to D high. We are cleared for the approach, so we can uh, use our own altitudes in compliance with the uh, approach chart. Yeah, for this leg, it's 3,000, so we'll stay here. All right, so we briefed the approach. We've got our altimeter set. Ice protection is on. Fuel quantity is good and balanced. Landing gear we'll get, and flaps we'll get. Once we turn inbound from D high, we'll go ahead and uh, extend the flaps. We are within the range here. November 1, November Gulf, no observed traffic between you and the airport. At this time, change of rising frequency for the point the IFR cancellation in the air. This frequency are via the remote today. All right, over to advisory frequency, and uh, we'll let you know when we can cancel one November Golf. Go ahead and turn the autopilot off. And we're below 165, so we'll put flaps 15. Alarm approach mode for the uh, FMS flight director. All right, we've got flap, flaps selected and indicated 15. We're not picking up any icing, so and the wings look clear, so we'll actually be able to um, turn the boots and the prop ice off and uh, use 30 degrees of flaps so we'll have a normal landing distance. Leave them on for now, just uh, we are below freezing, the event that we would actually start picking anything up. And let's see, Comwe is uh, three, four, five miles from the airport, so we'll make a call when we're there. That tone is alerting us that our vertical track is coming up soon. Put the gear down when we're a dot above on the glide, uh, glide path. Okay, we're a dot above, so put the gear landing gear down. We're below 180 knots. And the landing gear is down lock. We've got three greens indicated. Looks like we did pick up a little bit of ice there. Maybe some impact snow. Wayne County traffic, pull out of standard to one November Golf. We're five miles to the east inbound on the RNAV, runway 28, Wayne County. All right, the glide path is captured on the uh, flight director there. Start our descent. We'll bring the power back to about uh, somewhere between 10 and uh, 12 psi and torque. That'll give us about 115 knots. sure the lights are up. And we've got ground contact, so we shouldn't have any issue. Three mile final runway two eight. And we've got the runway in sight. Temperature's uh, kind of fluctuating. It's plus one. I'm going between zero and plus one here. Uh, looks like the wing is clear of ice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the prop and ice and the boots off. And uh, we'll be good to use 30 degrees of flaps then. A little bit high. Our gump check gas is good balance there. And undercarriage is down. We got three greens locked. No mixture to mess with. And no prop control to mess with. We are below 130. I'll go 500. Ahead go ahead and put 30 degrees of flaps in. And we'd have 200 to minimums if we we're still IMC. We 
Wayne County traffic, plus 921 November Golf, short final, 28 Wayne County. Minimums. And there would be minimums if we were IMC, we could come down this low. All right, we'll start slowing down to the dynamic speed bug here. Windsock looks pretty much straight down the runway, maybe a little bit of a left crosswind. Flat there, we'll go to ground idle on the condition lever and back to beta. And we'll go ahead and set flaps 15, reset our trims, and it looks a little wet, makes a nice slow turn in case it's icy. Landing pulse, strobes, can all come off. Inertial separator will leave open. Windshield heats can come off. Wayne County traffic, plot of Sanders, 1 November Golf, clear of 2-8, taxi to the ramp, Wayne County. Okay, we need to let ATC know that we're down. Clearance is 2175. Clearance plot of Sanders, 1 November Golf on the ground, and like to cancel IFR here at Wayne County. November Golf, IFR cancellation received. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Good day. That looks like uh, we are getting a little precip. Um, wasn't a whole lot of chance for that, but I guess it uh, decided it wanted to do it. But we got plus three on the temp here, so it won't freeze. And we won't have to worry about putting it in a hangar or anything or on the ground. All right, radar is in standby. Go ahead and turn the landing light off. And we'll set the parking brake. Hey guys, thanks for flying with me, and uh, we'll catch you next time.